You have a question? Oh yes, I have an answer. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. This is another episode of Ask James. Let's get into our email. Hello, James. I want to start off by letting you know how much I appreciate you and your reviews. Keep up the excellent work. Thank you. Um, this is my situation. I had to let go of a friendship of 35 years. When the friendship ended, my so-called friend went on Facebook to get in touch with one of my husband's relatives, but the relative already knew about the breakup of our friendship before she contacted my friend back. But the relative and my so-called friend talked over the phone anyway, and my husband's relative came back and told me the hurtful things that the friend said about me and my husband. I had shared a lot of personal information with this friend throughout the years, um, as she told the relative everything. I am a strong person, but I must admit this situation hurts my heart. My friend is dealing with stage four cancer and she is evil. I can't believe she would have anything bad to say about me. I have been nothing but nice and supportive to her, even when her own two sisters didn't take time to go to chemo, uh, treatments with her. I have taken off my job to be there for her. My husband and I have helped her financially with her bills when her husband was incarcerated. I need some advice on this situation. I feel so hurt and betrayed. Furthermore, what should I do about the relative? Because I know it takes two to talk. Okay. Well, let me just say this first, okay? Um, I, I have an issue about when people fall out and then they tell all this business. That That's just, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, the other thing is you all been friends for a very long time. So didn't you kind of notice about her? Like the fact that she is evil like that. Like you don't just become that type of evil, backstabbing and vindictive overnight. That's not something that just comes out of nowhere. So I'm, I, I know you're hurt, but are you really shocked? Because see, that's the thing. Like with, with me personally, I know I run into a lot where people... They, they, they're close to me and they see how I get down when somebody does something to me. You know, I'll go all out. I'm, I can be a, I can be mean, you know, when you get up in my space wrong, when you go up in my crawl the wrong way, I, I'm going to get your ass. That's just how I am. But it never ceases to amaze me how when somebody new goes that route with me, you already seen what happened to people who did it before, but for some reason you get it in your mind that it won't happen that way for you. It will. It'll happen for you the exact same way. And I don't really care whether you're related, whether you're old, whether you're sick, all that. None of that stuff matters. So my question to you, are you really shocked? Are you shocked or did you forget to write in an email and tell me that she became evil all of a sudden, because people that are that evil, like she kind of is, they don't get that way overnight. This is things that they do. That, that's her, her pattern. She called your in-laws to tell your business. And y'all been friends for all them years. I doubt that this is the first time you've seen her do something like that. Did you get into the space where you felt disillusioned? Like, oh, she won't do that to me. Okay, so I'm not going to beat you up and say it's your fault or none of that. I don't do that. 
I don't do that because you didn't make her do that. You trusted her. You were friends with her. She betrayed the trust. Um, I feel as though even though the, the friendship was over, no, she had no business doing that. She had no business doing that. And what that further solidifies is, yeah, that's a friendship that you need to let go. That's what you could have actually learned from this. Yes, it's a friendship that you need to let go. There ain't no need to try to rekindle with her. She put the nails in the coffin for sure. So her, you don't need to worry about anymore. You don't need to fool with her no more. And then sounds to me like she was more of, she didn't seem like an asset at all. She seemed more of a liability than an asset. She got all these issues going on. Y'all had to jump in and help her out. Child, bye for her. And as far as the relative, child, it is what it is. And we can go to that too. She's been your relative for how long? You married in and she's your relative. Don't you know that about her? Don't you know that she's a bone carrier? So what are you going to do? You're going to get mad at her for being who she is? Mm -mm. Not at all. It just kind of is what it is. The person that really made the problem was your friend that told your business. That's who the problem is with. The relative, she just being her. Yeah, she's being her. She she got a little mess with her. She like a little mess. But again, we got to go back to, didn't you know that about her too? Didn't you know that about her too? Because you didn't seem shocked. You didn't seem shocked, but I don't think you need to go try to handle her. It just is what it is. Um, I ain't going to say thank her for the information, but you really could thank her for the information because it just lets you off the hook with old girlfriend. You ain't got to deal with her no more. But yeah, I mean, messy is as messy does. And are you really shocked about these two people? Probably not. But yeah, that's it. That's all I have for this. It's, you know. Don't worry about that friendship because that friendship wasn't all that it was built up to be no way. And your relative child, bone carrier, ain't no big deal. It is what it is. That's She's doing what it is that she does. Ain't no thing. I know you're hurt, but guess what? It'll go away. It'll go away. And I would have to say, yes, she is pretty evil. If you're dealing with stage four cancer and you ain't got nothing else to do, then be calling folks and telling them my business trying to make me as miserable as you. Child, that is evil. That is evil. But, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? Child, free yourself up. Don't let yourself get stressed out. Don't get stressed out because stress can kill you. And ain't no need to mess you up fooling with somebody that ain't. Yeah, she ain't your friend, child. Anybody got time for that? Anyway, but that's it. That's all I got. Thank you so much for writing in, babe. And I will see you soon. You have something you need to get off your chest or something you need some help with? I'll give it my best shot. Send me an email to spillitboy at gmail.com and in the title line, you want to put Hey James to make sure that I actually see it. If you don't put Hey James in the subject line, I'm not going to see it. It's going to continue to be an issue. So send me an email and we'll talk about it later.